But so that leads up to the next big thing where he's running, we think he's got make it, and then <laughs> fucking out of nowhere, Gabby, the one that everyone Gabby, knows, just you know, hones in her Call of Duty up. skills. <laughs> like giant ass gun from nowhere and just like gets a clean hit on the neck. Yeah, just like he was perfectly decapitates Aaron. And yep, just like, missing the three sixty, David. He had the no scope and everything no down scope. and yeah, the that, 360 would have yeah, been the icing that, on top that was, of the cake. What's up and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast. This is the Attack on Titan final season weekly reviews. I'm your host, David, and joining today we have Stren. Hello. Next up, we have Justin. Hello. Next up, we have Taylor. Hello. And finally, we have Johan. Sagio. Sagio Sundays. Sagio yes. Sundays. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Let's go. So, this is the weekly review where we just discussed the episode of Attack on Titan that just aired. Going straight into it, we had, I mean, dude, this season's been great, already crazy so far, and this episode is just more crazy, so I, I don't even know where to begin, I gotta wrap my head around it. So, mm-hmm. last week, we ended off with the whole tension building up with, with, with Aaron trying to run to Zeke, and so, basically, you start out this round, just picking up for that, where it's like, you got the Paradise Society just doing what they can, you get Aaron um, over, you got Aaron trying to fight his way through, you know, Jotain and through Reiner still, you got peak you know still they still like getting their anti-titan cannon shots so just a lot of crazy things happening it's just in this first sequence the first big part where you know uh falco and his brother like like he's trying so hard to convince zeke hey you know falco's taking <laughs> taking some of your fluid i i think you should really shouldn't do this i know i you don't want to get kids involved i believe in you zeke and mm-hmm. zeke's like yeah i do feel bad but I'm still gonna do it. So not that bad. <laughs> not that bad. Not that into. His, his relationship to his younger brother is more important than what Cold has with Falco. So fuck off, essentially. So I actually, so just a lot of things. So like, so my prediction last week where I said like, oh, Falco looks like he has you know, like plot armor and stuff. And then well, actually, his brother died because you know he got caught in the Titan explosion. But like, everyone else like got transformed into Titan. Falco did get transformed into Titan as well. So. Mm. So that's one big part. That's like the first big thing. Yeah, I would and say then, even I, even before that, David, not to cut you off too much, but oh no, go ahead. A, a, a big part in terms of like the ongoing like distaste that Porco has for Reiner um, right before Zeke roars. Um, I believe that Reiner and um, Porco connect and Porco yeah, they, gets oh, to see the that. past memories between mm-hmm. Reiner um Oh and my gosh. Like, I mean, yep thank you yeah and galliard of him just saying how he basically made them look bad so that his brother wouldn't get chosen as mm-hmm. a warrior candidate to save his life and that just having you know like a, a big impact on, on porco as well like finally getting to learn the truth of what happened to his brother apart from you know what reiner may or may not have told him at the see, time see all things well like porco i i forgot all of it so like <laughs> it's so it's hard for me to like remember like what he was specifically referencing to when he's like they're talking about like his brother and all that and like i do remember like how like reiner is never supposed to be the the armor titan but mm-hmm. like the rest of the part like it's hard for me to remember so yeah so why... something yeah go ahead Taylor. i was just gonna say this is why i think that attack on titan is so worth either rewatching in its entirety or rereading in its entirety because there are so many sub characters and subplots so many characters that look or sound like each other or whatever that you meet throughout the series that you don't fully appreciate what their arc is until you have a better grasp on the overall picture um and i feel like they really kind of got the brunt of that because it is actually a really interesting story it was impactful to me you know after Mm -hmm. having experienced it a couple times and it really hit home yeah, no, and I, I think it's definitely a, a luxury sometimes for us, you know, me, Johan and Taylor, who have read the manga and had so much time to process and, and look back at, you know, kind of the relationships and like tying together of themes um, where, you know, I don't I don't fault you at all, David, for not remembering, you know, kind of the mm-hmm. relationships and things that got them to that point. I think that's fully valid, especially as someone who is, you know, anime only. Um, and I think, you know, as we can continue to talk through the events here, I'm just really interested to see how you kind of took in all of the events that unfolded in this set being anime only because for you know me johan and, and taylor we we've known for the longest time like what's gonna I'm... go down and we just wanted to see it finally be brought wow. to life you know with beautiful animation soundtrack and everything and we're so weird 
knowing that like I'm the only hammy only. <laughs> Not but, to put you on the spot or anything, you know. I would never want to yeah, do that. So <laughs> so I that's like the yeah, I just forgot about that part. And then the ne- like next crazy part is when well, okay, I mean I guess so we had the thing with you know Porco transform the Titan and then we thought that Porco oh, no no Falco, I mean god damn it. Mm-hmm. So Falco, we had thought the Falco was gonna gonna kill off Reiner and become the armor Titan. And it turns out he become he's gonna be the next job Titan because he senses uh, Porco and ends up eating him. Mm-hmm. And then so that's the next crazy part when Aaron just like running, like <laughs> everyone thinks it's all over because like because oh yeah because because Zeke got shot again and mm-hmm. and like this the the, 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 the general's like oh we got him this time and then he's yeah. like oh just kidding I use the same thing that that. PQs and that part. You think like, they would learn the from heck? that feign death tactic that's been, so, you know, so, performed so, like three or four <laughs> times <laughs> now? Like, yeah. like so, so <laughs> both, both sides basically got baited by the same thing. I'm, I'm like, really, guys? Okay. <laughs> but like, and then meanwhile, there's like Reiner who's like secretly like, okay, I can just let him bite and then I get to die. He's like really planning on going mm-hmm. all in. Yeah, <laughs> Reiner's yeah. just like fingers yeah. crossed, like, please, I can die. Please, please, please. <laughs> and then there, you know, the creator's just like, no. Nah. You will continue to suffer and live because I love you. <laughs> One thing that I liked about this episode is usually Attack on Titan is, you know, who hit the hardest gets to win. But the little strategy that went like, okay, so freaking Six is going to bait them into thinking that they're dead. And then uh, I was going to say threaten. And then Eren goes like, okay, you're going to punch me. And then I'm going to get out of my Titan form. So you, the strong ass armor Titan, are going to get like uh, just stuck in me so mm-hmm. I can run past that. I mean, I think that was pretty good. It was like, finally, some strategy yeah. here. Let's go. But, you know. <laughs> no, I, I definitely agree I mean, with that. Cause... I, I was just thinking, like, man, everyone's going to fall for the same thing again. So, <laughs> yeah. I definitely agree with that, where it's like, you know, kind of a suspending of belief for using tactics over and over again. But I, I agree with Johan's point. It's nice to finally see some sort of tactics being used, especially when you have, like, up to this point, like, Zeke continually being built up as the individual that's like, known for you know putting plans into motion and tactics and all these things so mm-hmm. we're, we're finally kind of getting to see that from both you know zeke and and aaron's side whereas yeah. everybody else on the side of marley not to you know say they didn't have tactics of their own that you know have in the earlier episodes kind of um gotten them to what led to this point but um it's definitely kind of an interesting dynamic of, of seeing kind of all those things now finally being put to use so um I will say if I did have to suspend anything leading into the events that, you know, led to um, Zeke kind of uh, feigning death and Aaron kind of picking up on this thing and then using the uh, hardening ability to hold Reiner's fist in place. Um, I will say, you know, the distance between uh, Zeke and Aaron must not have been too, too great because when, <laughs> when Aaron just comes out there and is like bolting it, I'm just like, OK, Aaron, you're like, what, maybe six feet tall? Even at a full out sprint, like I would have thought that like Reiner could like no problem, you know, catch up to him. But I guess the distance must have just been really small. And the fact that he was like hardened over by Aaron well, like uh, Titan. Hardened. And Falco yeah. and yeah. somebody, something else also went and grabbed him and attacked him pretty quickly after that, too. Because I remember watching mm-hmm. Aaron run and I was like, um, <laughs> I don't think you're going to make it, buddy. But then, yeah, Reiner got yeah. by two others. So I, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where there's a suspension of belief, right? Of just, you know, I mean, like, how far of the distance I, is it? And <laughs> I think Reiner is just fighting just Aaron and, and Falco. So he got he got hardened by Aaron and then Falco mm-hmm. was on his back. So yeah. uh, very true. Very true. So but so that leads up to the next big thing where he's running. We think he's got make it. And then <laughs> fucking out of nowhere, Gabby, the one that everyone Gabby, knows, just you know, hones in her Call of the- Duty skills. <laughs> like... <laughs> giant ass she, gun from nowhere and just like gets a yeah. clean hit on the neck yeah, just like he was perfectly decapitates <laughs> Aaron and yep, just like, missing the 360 what? David he had the no scope and everything no down scope. and yeah the that, 360 would have yeah, been the icing that, on top of was, the cake that was a more I yelled out what the fuck and like <laughs> usually that I usually is when I pause the episode but I just had to keep going because mm-hmm. like everything was like happening that moment and I was like and at that moment I, I just knew because we're gonna talk about this later I just knew wow like like all like the heavy haters just got validated right now <laughs> like i was because i was saying last week you know i don't i don't really get the hate for gabby but now it's like well they just got validated so <laughs> it would say so. Zeke is the mvp he couldn't move like you know he was just like reaching for Aaron, and then in the split second before he loses consciousness after literally practically dying be, be, being beheaded 
Six, it doesn't matter, like, physics just got thrown out the window, because if Eren gets hit from the side, how is his head gonna go forward? But Johan, don't mind that. Johan, we're, we're talking about Titans. <laughs> no, 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 we're talking okay. about the physics, oh, we're talking okay, about the okay, fine like, here. Right. I'm getting my shit. ruler out, I'm looking <laughs> at the direction of the wind. I should have known that this you stuff know? was actually I mean, taken into effect for uh, Attack of Titan, <laughs> I mean, my bad. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, even before that, just the fact that like, a bullet can like decapitate someone like that. It was so. a Titan bullet. Well, it was, it was a Titan was rifle. A titan yeah. Yeah. Remember, yeah, from okay. the earlier episode where Colt is carrying that rifle around and telling Gabby, like, oh, this is an anti-Titan rifle. Oh, that's where it like, came rifle. from. Okay. But the and fact that, like, okay, yeah. when did, you know, Gabby hold on to that? Because you would think, like, the thing that I also have to suspend a belief in is, like, Gabby wasn't that far away from Falco and Colt when Falco, you know, transformed from oh. Zeke's scream. <laughs> So that's another uh-huh. thing of like, I would have expected like, especially Colt, I would have thought he would have been like cut in half, but he was just like, you know, burnt like from half his torso up. So I was just like, OK, I guess like transforming into a Titan in that close of radius doesn't cause like as destructive as a explosion or transformation just, that I thought it would have. <laughs> just vis- visually like it's very like very explosive. Yeah, exactly. Bright, I imagine, so. I guess it's just like a heat wave of explosion, kind of similar to what we saw like from season Armin. three. Exactly. Yes, yeah. thank you, Taylor. Exactly. That's what I was thinking too. I was, I was like, I was okay with the burn body because that's kind of in line with what we've seen. I wouldn't want it to be worse than what happened to Armin with Bertolt, you know what yeah. I mean? Because that should have been the most exactly. extreme case. What did you but, think yeah. about the idea of, oh, you didn't die because you were losing consciousness and I cut you. <laughs> like, when I saw that, it was like, yeah, like, that's another like, like, of, you know, like, I actually you could go down the rabbit hole. Biologically, you don't, your head doesn't actually lose consciousness that, like, you, it's still in there like, after you're yeah. beheaded for, like, it's, a couple yeah, seconds, yeah. so, like, you know. The, the blood that you still have, like, to say that he was conscious from the mere pain that he was suffering, he would have lost all expression and then seek with one arm somehow, oh, manages God. to catch I him. Just, and I like, just love, well, you know, I mean, I'll go ahead, David. That, I don't know. Yeah, I like the, of Taylor. Like, yeah, there's like some, there's some parts of like where like, you know, like when when you get decapitated or whatever, like you're like still alive for a couple mm-hmm. seconds. Mm-hmm. So like that's what that's what they're trying to go off of. Like he's still alive, and then you just need the contact with Zeke for yeah. the weird path thing that's happening, which we need to get into next. Guys, but, you're forgetting yeah. about the the founding Titan perk, you know? The what? Founding oh, Titan perk, yeah. you know, there, there's got to oh, be some sort of benefit, you know. The ultimate, yeah. That yeah, yeah. brief yeah. second, it's basically it's like everybody just thought it was a useless, a useless ability until yeah. like, oh, if you lose your head, you're alive for one second. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, was, it was low Ooh. down in the patch notes of uh of the Founding <laughs> Titan, we'll say. Um, but yeah, to your point, David, you know, the next big piece will be um the kind of um transformation into the world that we were in to the world of paths. But I, I think even before that, um before we actually kind of like reawaken in paths and has like kind of that panoramic, like slowing down of time for everybody. Um, there's actually a funny meme of how they basically equated going in the paths of like, for those that have watched Jojo's bizarre adventure, uh, the world though, by Dio of slowing down time was some <laughs> oh, good memes yeah. that I've been seeing. But anyways, getting back on track and, and not diverting too much. Um, we have the flashback between um, Aaron and Zeke when um, they're talking about Aaron basically buying into Zeke's plan to um, euthanize all Eldians. And I'd be interested to see if you noticed, David, and if you didn't, no big issue, but when um, they're basically agreeing upon that, like, hey, Aaron, like, you know, you, you agree with me, like, you know, we're brothers and everything, like, we see the common goal, right? And Aaron's like, yeah. And, and you know, they're, like, about to touch, and then Zeke's like, oh, it better not touch, and throws the baseball for Aaron to catch. Oh, are you, are you saying and, it like when because he Aaron it. Didn't, he didn't catch it? He means mm-hmm. like he didn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did not see that at all. I, I kind of just mm-hmm. it, it flew by me. I just thought like it just felt like okay. I I already know that like you know the story about yeah. Like, we know that yeah. Aaron's not fully thing, kind of so... in, in line with Zeke, but it's just those small things. Where also like, even r- when he dropped it, Zeke kind of like it focuses on him, and he's just like, wait, what the fuck, <laughs> like. I know my brother, like, he, he's got good reflexes or whatever you want to take it as. I, I saw it more as, a, like, when he looked at it, it's like, we're about to change the world. And you can't even, like, catch a ball? Are you kidding <laughs> oh, me? Oh, that's an interesting way to take <laughs> it. Like, he's, yeah, Zeke's just like, ooh, I don't know. Maybe my brother isn't up to this task. Like, <laughs> that I mean, I was just, like, in shock from what was happening. So, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the scene. Yeah. Do you think it was weird, Cause... then, that they decided to put that flashback, like, 
after I wasn't what it just about like it. happened. Yeah, or exactly. You just don't think about it at all. Then. Because like, because it was like this. It was the flashback, and then it went to like the the mid break. I was like, oh shit, there's still more in this episode. I thought this was gonna be like the cliffhanger of all the intense things yeah. that was happening. So I was like, oh, I didn't realize there was still more. And do you think, David, like if there wasn't more? Because I was actually interested to see that, like, they didn't use Aaron getting his head blown off as, like, just the ending scene. And then just really yeah. just, like, That's like, make it painful for everybody of, like, no! What am I going to do for seven days? <laughs> yeah, it, it looked like the, ser- the, the typical, like, Tekken Titan cliffhanger, so, mm-hmm. yeah, I was surprised. You know, I gotta say, I have some thoughts on this, which was, originally, I had wanted an episode to end with, you know, the head getting shot off, because for manga readers, that was a, a, a just horribly long wait for the next month's chapter but then now that i've gone back and reread through some of the stuff that's coming up here in pads i actually think that starting that off and having the whole next episode dedicated to what happens in paths might have an even kind of crazier ending so i'm kind of looking forward to seeing what like people's reactions to that because since no matter what we'd only have to wait a week from episode from one episode to the next aaron's head coming off is not necessarily the biggest thing that you could have to wait for does that make sense no, totally. Yeah. So I'm really excited for, for next week and hearing p- if people are shocked by any of the stuff revealed then. Also, how Six was like, uh, Six was like, okay, Aaron, we're here, you know, this is it. What do you think? And he's like, freaking, no, you know what? I'm not <laughs> thinking my way. Get the fuck out. Here's Ymir. Ymir, give me your power. And Six like, good to know. He stands up and is like, well, no, I'm going <laughs> to do it. Get it was all, all, all according to Keikaku. Yes, <laughs> yes. The big brain plays by Zeke coming into, Just... into effect. <laughs> so... but, but yeah, honestly, then that's to that point of like, once they do get into paths, like I, I know it's supposed to be this big kind of like unveil and like kind of next setup. And I agree then to your, tail, to your point, Taylor, of why they probably decided to just make that the like small like piece mm-hmm. that we get to see to then fully dive in next week. Mm-hmm. But kind of the david's line at the very end there like between zeke and just being like you know oh okay i was testing you like okay you really aren't with me or anything like not much really happened at the end <laughs> we just had you know the two brothers oh. being like we don't see eye to eye and aaron realizing that ymir is not you know bending to his will at this point in time and stuff <laughs> so just for me it's like i still don't understand what this path is like how the heck does this thing work with like mm-hmm. the, the, the power and stuff i assume it's related to either the founder's power or like the royal blood power and stuff and, and i didn't realize that like the whole renouncing war thing i didn't realize like it was so it was like like a blood pack or something with like the royal family mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. i thought, so, I thought yeah just, like, that's like, like a key piece of like why aaron is so important because he's not of royal blood so so it's like but then zeke said too like oh i'm royal blood but i wasn't like part of like the king's like decree or whatever so i get to bypass this even as real blood yeah, <laughs> yeah true so, it's, so i don't know i don't know it's just i uh as i was watching the episode i just remember thinking to myself i really hope that nobody lingers or asks too many questions about this because i remember at the time of reading the manga i was like furiously t- ch- like fact checking trying to <laughs> make sure i understood everything in the right order but now that it's been so long i i, I yeah i can't really remember i will say though for one thing with paths I don't think that paths has so much to do with like that pact or being of noble blood or anything like that. It's more just like a place for Eldians to connect basically. Right. Justin, wouldn't you agree with that? Johan? Um, like, a, I don't think I remember well enough to give like a confirmation of yes or no for that. Yeah. I, I feel like it's a mix of all these things where it is more so kind of reserved for, I would say the nine like titans that have a stronger connection to paths i would agree taylor that like all eldians that have the ability to transform like are connected to it in in one way or another but in terms Mm -hmm. of those that can actually like utilize it physically yeah be like aware and utilize it i would say that's more kind of in line with like the founding titan and then maybe to a smaller extent some of these other yeah, that um, makes like sense. jaw, hammer, and I feel like uh, it's the, almost like a rate of passage. Like you know, if you, once you're deep into the okay, you know you're a titan, you have to be because that's where Emer is, and you could potentially talk to her. You know, have communication with the actual founder, and it's like this is where shit goes down. This is where you power up. It's like you know <laughs> when you're in a level in a video game and you go save, 
and you save <laughs> and then you buy things. It's basically yeah. it's basically in the easiest way. Like it's like the uh, it's like the hyperbolic time chamber from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, but it's just it's just like I don't know, just like just doing this in an anime it just it just doesn't make as much sense as a video game. Yeah, but I think to Taylor's and, point, and... it is something that they're setting up to like a lot of things. You're about to get like. A there's lot of a lot. information dumped yep. on you, so you know, pull and out like, your notebook, David, because there's gonna be a lot of things talking. Oh about. god! I was gonna say back to like back to like Johan's point too. It's just like um, because I know Attack and Titan, you know, we we have Titans and all, but they they try to keep some sense of like like you know, like sci-fi of like with like the the powering up and stuff. But then like when you get to the, the really me deep dive into the titan thing just you know, it's just like how does this path thing make any sense like you're trying to make it like oh you know you have this like this mm-hmm. power this this like this weird power that gives you i don't know yeah no i will say that's a good point that you bring up of like a lot of the time for like all of the more like quote-unquote op titan abilities i feel like that's kind of been reserved to aaron and zeke at this point zeke more understandable because of his royal blood but Kind of now that I think about it, tying back to um, when Reiner and Porco connected, I don't really fully understand why did memories trigger at that point? Because I feel like it maybe it was just the intensity of the situation and everything that they were in. But you would think that if all it was is, you know, contact between the two of them, have like what have Porco and Reiner just never touched until like this exact point in time? Like they just hated each other like, that much, or Porco at least hated yeah. them that much. <laughs> so yeah, it's like that's just like point. there's, there's right? like I'll have to go like, back. Like maybe there's something that there's so much like supernatural why. like elements in here when like it could have like I'm trying to look at it as like as like more of like a logical like okay if it's based on like on like blood or like genetic you know engineering and like I, I could see the things happening here, but like. The supernatural stuff, like like this path thing, just confuses me. So, <laughs> fair. Hmm. I would say yeah. that ultimately, though, it is more like supernatural, right? Wouldn't you yeah. guys agree with me that that yeah. is more? It's not. Don't try to like look into this more as like a something that could be biologically engineered kind of situation. Yeah, uh, why well, I, 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 I understand like David's take of the now. sci-fi and bio sense of mm-hmm. like blood, like yeah, kind of relations and stuff. Yeah, for sure. It, or like the a, genetic breakdown of like Eldians and those things that give them the ability to become Titans in the first place. Yeah, it's really a mix of like both elements, to be honest. Yep, exactly. But, but I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll stay for that 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 final scene though. You know, of like with you know Aaron and and Zeke uh, having their true intentions revealed. You know, it's um. Well, I don't know. Just seeing see where it will go from here. I mean, I guess we kind of like. I wasn't surprised that 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 Zeke knew because like I figured like he like he probably knows that like that Aaron is BSing him. So I figured this Mm -hmm. something like this would come out. So now we'll see how how Aaron's going to like because I'm assuming that like Aaron just kind of he's got wind control off path. He's got like use it's kind of like how like Zeke like recovered from path from when the thing with Levi. I assume that's Mm -hmm. how Aaron's got to recover his body. And then Aaron will have like all have all. The power, all the powers of like of beasts or i don't i don't know if he inherit like if he gets the powers of the royal family because he's zeke or whatever or combines with zeke but like yeah but i'm, I'm just assuming right like, like he's trapped Aaron, David. well i'm assuming you know anime man- manga logic i'm assuming he's like get out of this like if he wasn't dead from from being shot and you know and decap kid <laughs> he's gotta get out of this he's gotta recover so that's how I see it. We don't everything, know. Is, everything is Gabby's fault because she's a shitty shot. She aimed for the neck and not for the head. What kind of garbage is that? It's like you get the headshot. They don't give you medals for neck shots. They give you medals for headshots. Like in games. In games. Well. Yeah, I don't really have too many other thoughts or anything on this week's episode, though. I think we kind of covered. I, I, I have yeah. one more thing to say. The just the whole the whole Ymir thing. Every time I see Ymir, they talk about the founder Ymir, and then we have like the one girl who was like friends with Historia, and she, mm-hmm. she said her name was Ymir. Mm-hmm. But that, that's some Xehanort shit right there. Like when they <laughs> like they try to confuse you with like the name that's like the same. It's like God damn it! Like another thing you I just got to think about now. 
<laughs> I think it's one of those things where like we have a lot of people who are named after like religious figures or figures from our history. I think it's just kind of like that. Yeah, and know? I'm pretty sure for I Ymir, can't. it was explained that like yeah. people thought she because she was stealing like stuff from like the churches and stuff. And then, mm -hmm. you know, people found her and then we're like, you know, what the fuck are you doing here? And he's like, oh, I, my name's Ymir. And then they took that as like, oh, my God, she's like the reincarnation. Yeah. And like that whole backstory that happened, like what, uh, a full season ago, season and a half ago. We really didn't so, have yeah. enough context to even understand that. I, that I don't, I don't remember any of it. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's why, that's why when like when the whole thing of like the founder Ymir was like being explained and then like, and then so then this this episode of the path and then they talk about again founding Ymir just yeah. just again just like oh god like that's all I want to know like, is where is my like, people people always people always complain about that in the anime when we have like the fake name stuff yeah. so next uh, in the next movie there will be nobody is coming out next it won't it's not just Hearts <laughs> anymore it's nobody's it's next time nobody's. yeah so we're going to full then, Kingdom Hearts now we're here <laughs> yeah. what are you going to say Justin I was just going to say. I want to know where where uh, Hanji and Levi are at. Are they just floating down the riverside Dude, this whole yeah. time for these last oh, you know, yeah. three episodes? Like, soon enough. <laughs> you know, where, where, what happened? I'm dying to know. You know, last time we saw Levi, he ain't looking are too you, hot. Are so you really where's Justin? Where's my man at? <laughs> I, I want to know. I'm tired, you know? Yeah. You said wait. Levi was dead. He looked dead, you know? Well, that's yeah, the thing yeah. we don't know. I want to know. It, it we spent so... enough time now. Maybe we can do a little, uh, uh, like, do not go back. I, I, yeah. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It would be an obvious prediction, but I mean, like, mine still stands. With, like, where he, Levi is going back. Like, we don't know that, David. That's why I want to see. <laughs> like, we it's, don't know. Like, if he doesn't, then that's like a, a net, again, just a red herring for me. Where I just fell for like, for the way they pull the rever reverse psychology on me, where they did they did all the things to make it look suspicious, and then it's just to throw me off where it, he actually is dead. And these are the real questions like, we need answers. We need to grown. know. During this whole see. time, also, where is Onyo Capone? Where is that man? <laughs> Seriously, that man just no. came out of the cellar, and then everybody else was like, "All right, we got 3D gear. See ya." And then we haven't seen him <laughs> since. What is he doing? That's what I want to know. <laughs> All right, sir. Anyways, I digress with my memes. <laughs> Overall, no. though, David, would you say that this has been your favorite ep so far? Like, has every episode this season so far has it? It's, continue to get uh, better and better in know, terms of how you feel or this was i say this is good i don't know it was my favorite because like just like it was i don't know it's just like it felt like the first half was just the, the conclusion of the intense things that's mm -hmm. ha that happened since the since like the i guess since the beginning yeah i was gonna say like since like since marley invaded paradise but i guess that's that's episode one basically so okay so it just feels like first i was like the conclusion of it and then and then just like we like and then it's just setting up for the path stuff. So like it, like whereas like uh the first half was more like <laughs> like more of an action fact and then second half was like is is more of like uh just I don't know, just not I don't want to say story or lore wise, but like mm -hmm. it's just setting up for a lot of things, so definitely. Mm hmm No, I yeah. think you hit the nail head on that one, so We'll probably have a long discussion next week to kind of parse through all the new information that we'll be getting. And there will be more episodes like that, yeah. too. <laughs> There's going to be so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So Until next week. We will, we'll look forward to it. So, yeah. Yes, so, all around, I mean, overall, I enjoyed the episode. So, it just yes, that first half, man, just got me so shocked. So, <laughs> so whatever, whatever people are saying about, like, like second half, not looking up, it's like, I'm still shocked over that first half. So... <laughs> I think we're in it for here. Well, I want to thank everyone for joining me today. Thanks, guys. I'll thank everyone in chat too. Always appreciate you yes. being, being here. Thanks, Ulysses. Thanks, and, Anate. Thanks, Johan, for subbing again. And then, yep. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Johan. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Yep. And then <laughs> we're in it here. So thanks, guys. We'll good. see you thanks, everyone. next week. I guess technically it's Sasaki or Sundays, but yes. yeah. This is on see a you Sunday. Next week. Yep. Yep. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.